Mark and Linda Wilfong are dealing with a problem inside their home that you wouldn't believe. The smell of natural gas infests the air and even their water after a water well was drilled on their property. I never even thought. You know, we just figured when they drilled our well, yeah. we would have good drinking water or good, just good water. Yeah. You yeah, never knew how it. important it was until you don't have it. The well was drilled back in June, and since then the Wilfongs can't cook or shower without bottled water. They've even had an increase in health problems. I've been to the doctor with earaches. Uh, I mean, the fumes in the house are just, but you know, you care and you can smell. The fumes are so bad. You know, we've been advised to not use our water, to find an alternate source of water. I mean, where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed to do for water? And it just gets worse. Once you run the water, it even ignites. The Wilfongs have sent letters to different companies around the state pleading for help. About the whole process has been this way. I have done all the calling. Nobody has tried to contact us back. And it's just been ongoing ever since then. Dominion Gas says they've recently been to the Wilfongs to get samples. We don't know if it's natural gas or not until we see the results. I mean, you know, there's other gases in the it can be in the ground. Uh, you know, I don't want to predispose the results. But it could be natural gas from some other formation. Uh, our, um, our formation where we store natural gas is about 2,000 feet down. And my understanding is, is water well was drilled about 180 feet. As for now, the Wilfongs hope someone will give them the answers they deserve. You know, you think there would be state or government agencies out there that to regulate this stuff that would even help you. And nobody's stepping up to do anything. They're putting the responsibility back on us, and it's not our fault. We did our part. We had our well drilled. We paid for it, and that was by the expense. And now we have this. In Harrison County, I'm Kristen Keeling for 5 News. The most news in the morning. CNN's American Morning. Weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. Bill Ely's pure artesian well water that he and his family have been drinking for nearly 50 years he is now full of methane gas. He's sick of telling people about it, so now he just shows them. I'm not going to go like this because the wind's blowing. So it's going to blow it right out, but I'm going to try it. Except it looks like God. you scared me. <laughs> You're really lucky. Oh my. What just happened? I mean, just that's just the gas went down, and that's why I said it. it come back and blowed out these holes. But if I turn it up a little bit, then the water blocked that, and then it'll just burn a flame right off the top. The gas bubbles through his well. And as you can see right now, you can't see even the hose in the bottom of that, because mm -hmm. that's all gas. And it was at one time clear. Clear, crystal clear. It steams off like Alka Seltzer. In his chicken coop, where it's dark, he can show you the flame. What's causing this? He says, like a lot of people in rural eastern Pennsylvania, he has been fracked. This area is seeing a boom in the natural gas business because of a geological formation known as the Marcellus Shale and a drilling process called hydraulic fracturing. Fracking, as it's known, drills down and then sideways into the massive shale rock that lies thousands of feet below, injecting mostly water and some chemicals which cause many earthquakes. That fractures the rock, releasing clear, odorless, floating gold, natural gas trapped inside the Marcellus Shale. Hundreds of trillions of cubic feet worth, enough to supply the Northeast for decades to come. Craig and Julie Sautner say they too are being fracked. I'm going to play a little devil's advocate with you. That's a little bit why they say they're doing this, because this is clean fuel. It's, it's not clean to get, it's a fossil fuel. Any fossil fuel, coal, oil, gas, is they don't see the dirty side. This is the dirty side of natural gas. It's clean to burn, but it's not clean to get. Like Bill Ely, the Sautner's well is poison. Pennsylvania's Department of Environmental Protection confirmed it and is now forcing the gas exploration company, Cabot Oil and Gas, to truck in clean drinking water. 
Though Cabot denies its process of fracturing has contaminated anything. In fact, a company spokesman cites a 2004 EPA study which found only a minimal threat to underground drinking water and told CNN, we don't believe the process is contaminating the groundwater. As a technology, it's proven and safe. We don't the Sautners and other homeowners just don't buy that. They are suing. Craig wants a clean water pipeline to his home, and he wants to be paid for a house that now has a methane release stack in his front yard. To keep it, to keep it from blowing up, yes. And a neighborhood, he says, that is sometimes fogged in with methane mist. Will this become a ghost town someday? Maybe, right? I, I sure don't want to live here anymore. My name is Bill Ely. I uh, live in Denton Township, Susquehanna County. I've lived here for 50 years. As a matter of fact, I lived in my house for 47. Now, the water and everything in this area has been good quality all my life, except for here about two years ago when a methane gas got into my water from the road going around this area. So I just thought the tank had air in it. But then we took it and we shook it up and we could light it. You can light your water? My water, I can light it then and I can light it now. And actually now it's more concentrated than it was then. You ready? There it is. See it going? See it burning? Can you see it? They didn't tell me about the water could be bad, you know, or how they drilled or whatever. They only told me the good parts. My name is Ronald Carter. I live in Bimmock. I live on Carter Road. I'm in the same boat that everybody else is here. Our water is bad. I am not against drilling altogether, but I think the regulatory agencies, they have to be on top of them more. I think it can be done safely. My name is Scott Ely. We're all living like this. This is, this is absolutely crazy. You know, why is it that we're fighting to prove we have bad work? I don't know what more I can say about it. You know, we all want water. We don't care how they get it here. But we just don't want to live out of banks. We need to start with understanding that the 1.2 million private water wells in Pennsylvania have experienced uh, contamination prior to any natural gas uh, development in the Marcellus. Let's address that issue. Let's address it um, with the acknowledgement that it is not tied to the development of the Marcellus. That's where the honest uh, uh, debate can occur, and that's where we'll really get to the solution for these problems, not by uh, mischaracterizing it as a result of drilling 8,000 feet below the Earth's surface.
Hydraulic fracturing has been shown by many national and state agencies, regulatory agencies, the Groundwater Protection Council, as not ever having been documented responsible for groundwater or surface water contamination. I think it's important to understand that well over a million wells have been uh, producing natural gas in this country by using that technology. It's a very safe one. It's one that's taken into account ever-increasing uh, technological advances, and I think we're fortunate as a, as a society to have that uh, technology with us to bring that energy to market. Well, I think any concerns um, are ones that need to be addressed and answered, and it's understandable when there is a, uh, a change, a lot more attention to uh, this particular development of an energy source, that, that people uh, grow to understand how it's done, how it's been done, and how it's very regulated. So I'm, I'm confident that in Pennsylvania, we, um, we've got the right ingredients to make this truly a, a, a shining star as part of uh, Pennsylvania's energy future and environmental legacy. Tree hugger. I don't, I'm not a river hugger. I, I, you know, the river provides what we need for life. Water is the most important thing for us and for the other life if we care about life. The people up here who are against it, I think, are literally fighting for their lives. They're drilling like mad in Pennsylvania. There's communities that are getting destroyed. There's people who don't have water anymore. Um, it, it's a nightmare, and um, I will do anything I can to help put an end to it. We can do so much better than this. We don't have to destroy to, to, make, to make ourselves comfortable. We, we can do it in such a better way. So to sacrifice and risk all of this for just another fossil fuel to me seems mad. It's a, it's a form of madness. Pure water. This is a basic human right. Pure water. 